Well, a politician's job is to appeal to voters. Left-leaning voters don't like the NRA. Pat Davis is a Democrat running for Congress in New Mexico. Put two and two together, and Davis has produced a new ad where he expresses his view of the NRA unambiguously. But you decide. The NRA. Their pro-gun policies have resulted in dead children, dead mothers, and dead fathers. I'm Pat Davis, and I approve this message, because if Congress won't change our gun laws, we're changing Congress. Pat Davis joins us tonight from New Mexico. Pat, thanks for coming on. Hi, Tucker. So that that's the ad, F the NRA? Kind of moronic, no? That's that's it, just 15 seconds, but it got a whole lot of attention to start a new conversation about guns, and I'm grateful for that. But doesn't it degrade you? I mean, you use the F word in an ad. I mean, if you have a position, state it, but F the NRA? I mean, come on. But, well, Tucker, I mean, look, being polite, it hasn't made our schools any safer. It hasn't protected police officers like I used to be. Uh, you know, if, it, if a cuss word on TV offends you more than pictures of dead children in Parkland or Newtown, then your priorities are all wrong. I was a cop. But it's not either or. Hold on. Wait, so I don't care and if you were a cop or not. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, let me ask you a question. It's not, it's not an either sure. or. And it's not that I'm so offended. I just, politeness doesn't work. Do you think rudeness will? Is rudeness going to save lives, do you think? Well, you know, as we were looking to make this ad, what we, we kept coming up with the same idea, and every ad idea we came up with to talk about this issue looked like somebody else's. And those had not worked. Clearly, this got the NRA's attention, and it has started a new conversation, both amongst candidates running for office, about who we can, how we organize and take back Congress and put new leaders there to take on gun control, but also how we stand up to the NRA. I mean, we know what works. 50% of NRA members. No, it started a conversation process. about how embarrassing you are. I mean, how many NRA members have committed mass shootings? Well, but, Tucker, here's the thing. A majority of Americans, 89% of police officers, a majority no, of NRA here's members the thing know is the quote, no, Here's the thing is I asked you a direct way. No, hold checks. on. Here's the thing. We can, on. Yeah. You, wait, so, so, you just released an ad that said F the NRA, which I'm sure back to your fraternity house they loved. But let me ask you an adult question. How many NRA members have committed mass shootings? Tucker, this is about the organization itself. My family grew up when I was growing I'm up. I'm asking you about the organization members itself. Of the NRA. It's not the NRA, the oh. my dad's organization. It is when F their the only NRA. response to a But how many members? But how schools, many of their members? Are, hold on, they have millions of members. How many of them have? They do, and I've been hearing from them all week. Uh, look, oh, they remember, okay. I've been hearing so, from let, them let me, let me, the NRA made us their target. We've started a new conversation, and what I've also heard from are parents in but Parkland, the conversation in Virginia, is, in Newtown, who donated to keep the ad on the air because okay. they want people in Congress right. to finally step up. So you're really up. doing a public service. If the NRA service, wants to come, right. the NRA wants let to me give you a little more publicity by putting regulations that their members come support. Come to the table. You Let's just said it. F the NRA. We're not waiting on them to come to the table. Yeah, we are really trying to have an adult conversation. So here's your new spot. And I just, I want to talk to policy and see what you know about it. So here's your latest 15 second ad. By the time this ad is done, an AR-15 could have fired 150 bullets. That's why we need to ban assault weapons. I'm Pat Davis, running for Congress. And I approve this message because lives are more important than gun company profits. So you just said that in 15 seconds, an AR-15 can fire 150 rounds. Is, it, is, it, is that true? That's right. That's right. Well, how, how would can, that work right exactly? Here in New Mexico, right here in New Mexico, you can, go to a, you can go to a parking lot or go on the Internet, buy an assault weapon, an AR-15, and buy a legally available add-on, like a bump stock, that allows you to replicate exactly what happened in Las Vegas. The Las Vegas so shooter how many, shoot how many, wait, no, wait, hold on, no, 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 wait, are you saying... You're saying an AR-15 can shoot 150 rounds in 15 seconds. So would it have a 150-round right. so magazine? What would that, what, hold on, let me ask, let's be specific. That's your ad. What would that magazine look like, the 150-round magazine? Exactly like the magazines that Las Vegas police officers pulled out of that hotel room. They had 50 and 100-round magazines, were 150 and that weapon was capable. Oh, no, and 50 so you and can fire. It is it is physically possible to fire. It's not. I mean, these are rhetorical questions. You don't know what you're talking about. And I, I know that you were a police it's officer. Or you claim to have been. I, yeah. No AR-15 can fire 150 rounds in 15 seconds. That's 
untrue, and if you believe it is true, and, then you're not qualified to have a conversation yet, about guns. People are laughing at you yet, because you are ignorant. We take you don't news. know what you're talking we, about. No, no, we that's take just what, untrue. We take exactly the word of the police officers in Las Vegas, who I trust, who ran into that room to save people down below and found the weapons said, that were modified who, with bump stocks. They would oh, allow them so to they do say that. an AR-15 can shoot. What do you think would happen to the barrel in 15 seconds if you put 150 rounds? It would but, melt. So I guess my point is, if you're going to take on the NRA and be Mr. Tough, I was a cop guy, maybe you should know what you're talking about, but you don't. You're putting something on television that's demonstrably wrong, that's physically impossible, and all of your voters are like, oh, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. He was a cop, but you don't know. So maybe you should apologize for it. I'm not apologizing I'm sorry, for taking doesn't on the work. NRA, I'm, I'm no just trying to. Doing it. Oh, okay. I'm. Uh, I think you should apolog apologize for saying something that's factually and untrue. Apologies have not changed the conversation. We need new. Yeah, that's why I'm not being polite. Has, I'm trying to get a, a real conversation going here. Yeah. But you don't know what you're talking about, so maybe you shouldn't be in a position to make decisions because you don't understand the issue. Because you just told me with a straight face that an AR-15 uh, can fire 150 rounds in 15 seconds. Ooh, surprise! It can't. Uh, so maybe you should admit that and move on to something you Tucker. understand. Would you do that? Tucker, we're going to go. We're not. This is exactly the type of arguments that don't get us where we need to be. We need new oh, leaders. Oh, it's not that's like F the NRA. That's the we kind of moving. argument we need. Oh, we I know. thought politeness didn't work, tough guy. We Politeness is not working so far. If you're, if you woke up on oh, Mother's Day, not. don't have your kid anymore. You know what works? You Actually, facts work. Why don't up? you get some facts? Oh, Pat, do you like this new mode of Tucker. communication we have? F the NRA, Pat. It, it'd be great All to right, have tough a, guy. It'd be great Learn to something have a about guns and get back to me. Interview over. Yeah, because you don't know what you're talking about. Let's go back to politeness. The late night talk show host talking about gun control. We have Steve Ducey that's in Las Vegas live anchoring the show from out there. We also want to bring in Ben Shapiro. He's from the DailyWire.com, a syndicated columnist and host of the Ben Shapiro Show to talk about this very issue with the late night host. Steve, you have a question for Ben? Uh, absolutely. Ben, I got, I got a question for you. You know, uh, many, as we just saw the um, late night host talking about how there needs to be more gun control. But when you look at uh, what they found in the car of this guy, that ammonium nitrate, you just add the um, fuel oil to it. And you've got an Oklahoma City bomb there as well. What gun control law would have stopped that guy from doing what he did back there? I mean, even the guns that he was using, I'm not sure that there's any evidence that, that gun control would have done anything. I mean, he obtained, apparently, these weapons legally. He had gone through federal background checks. There's no evidence of significant mental illness to this point. So all this seems like is people shouting, do something, while they have no particular solutions and no expertise on guns or gun control. I mean, the suggestion that gun control is going to put an end to incidents like this, again, that, that is an evidenceless proposition based on nothing but emotional response. I was looking at Jimmy Kimmel last night, and he said, well, for those of you on television all day that tell me not to, uh, the not to talk about gun control, my First Amendment is just as important as your Second Amendment. Ben, what's your reaction to that? Well, I mean, no one is talking about stopping him from, from talking. I mean, I would, I would never try to ban Jimmy Kimmel from talking on television. He should stop trying to ban me from owning a firearm. And, and again, and nothing that the, that the late night hosts are saying has any sort of relationship to reality. If they want to call for an outright gun ban, if they want to call for all guns in the United States to be removed, then we can at least get an honest assessment of what it is they believe. But when they say things like a little bit of common sense gun control would stop all of this, that's, that's just a chimera. It's not true. They're, they're making things up because this is all about the moral disapproval of people who own guns. And that, that's what drips from a lot of these folks is this idea that if you oppose them on policy, it's because you don't care enough about what happened in Las Vegas. And that really is, that, that's quite disgusting. I mean, the idea that if we disagree on policy, it's because my heart isn't big enough, but your heart is just big enough so you understand Jimmy Kimmel or Stephen Colbert or Seth Meyers. You understand truly what America needs because you care so much. That's, that's pretty nasty stuff. So what is the issue here? What do we need to be talking about? Well, I mean, I think we don't have enough information yet to know what sort of policy proposals would, would be on the table. This is one of the things that drives me nuts about this. Mass shootings are actually a pretty terrible way of determining policy because the sample size is so low, because it tends to be non-representative of deaths involving guns in the United States overall uh, for a variety of reasons. I mean, if we actually want to talk about gun violence across the United States, we'd actually have to start talking about, if you're going to talk gun control, then let's talk about democratic areas in major cities, because that's where virtually all of the murder, or at least a huge percentage of the murder, is taking place in the United States. 
even that, though, it would be, I think, a, a false premise because the fact is that the number of guns in the United States has gone up as the murder rate has gone down. Per capita, there are now 1.45 guns per American in the United States. There were less than one gun per American in the, in the United States in 1993, and the murder rate has declined markedly since that time. So the idea that more guns equals more crime or more guns invariably equals more mass shooting, the evidence is really weak on this stuff. Yeah, so what does that tell you? Does that tell you that more people owning guns with murder rates going down? Is it because we feel like using a gun, we can protect ourselves more owning a gun? Well, I mean, I think there's a case to be made for that. The, the truth is that correlation in these cases doesn't always equal causation. So saying more guns, less crime, it may be just as wrong as saying less guns, more mm -hmm. crime. Um, but, it, but, but by the same token, to suggest that if we just remove guns, that's going to send the crime right down, it's not true. People keep talking about things like Australia, where there was a big gun buyback. And the fact is that in Australia, they only removed one-third to one-fifth of guns. The gun crime rate was declining markedly before that, and the United States right. is not the same as Australia. Try going to Texas and telling everybody they need to hand their guns over to the federal government and see how the gun rate, right. the, the gun death rate goes up. That also, tell the people in England how safe they are uh, when they've had five attacks over the last year, uh, and they have uh, very few guns over there, as well as France. Even law enforcement and, uh, doesn't carry guns, right? As well as Spain. True. Good point, Ainsley. And finally, I didn't know, I'm not a gun guy, I don't pretend to be, but now I'm finding about these bump fire, uh, these bump fire stocks that allow a semi-automatic to be an automatic. And the fact is, according to the ATF, it was actually legal to do. Would you, as a pro-gun guy, entertain the fact that we get rid of some of that conversion? Yeah, I think I would. I mean, the fact is that the machine guns have been illegal for sale since 1986 mm -hmm. in the United States. Um, devices that can convert a semi-auto to fire like an auto, I think there's pretty widespread support for getting rid of some of these devices. That said, a bump stock is very easy to, to make yourself, uh, to imitate. Uh, firing a, a semi-auto at a high rate uh, is not particularly difficult to train to do. So I think that we can do it. I just I wouldn't use it as, as this sort of this panacea. I don't think that you can use it as a cure-all. The idea that that would cure these problems. The, the vast majority of, of mass shootings have not taken place with automatic weapons or even semi-autos being fired like autos. They've been with semi-automatic rifles or mostly with handguns. Okay. Ben Shapiro. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane! <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before! Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. Hold on, wait, so I don't care if you're worked. a cop or not. Uh, wait, hold on, wait, let me ask you a question. It's not, it's not an either sure. or. It's not that I'm so offended. I just, politeness doesn't work. Do you think rudeness will? Is rudeness going to save lives, do you think? Well, you know, as we were looking to make this ad, what we, we kept coming up with the same idea, and every ad idea we came up with to talk about this issue looked like somebody else's. And those had not worked. Clearly, this got the NRA's attention, and it has started a new conversation, both amongst candidates running for office, about who we can, how we organize and take back Congress and put new leaders there to take on gun control, but also how we stand up to the NRA. I mean, we know what works. 50% of NRA members. No, it started a conversation about how embarrassing you are. I mean, how many NRA members have committed mass shootings? Well, but, Tucker, here's the thing. A majority of Americans, 89% of police officers, a majority no, of NRA here's members. The thing know is there the are no, here's the thing: things is the thing is, I asked you a direct way. No, hold on. Checks. Here's the thing: we can. Yeah. You wait. So, so, you just released an ad that said "F the NRA," which I'm sure back at your fraternity house they loved. But let me ask you an adult question: How many NRA members have committed mass shootings? Tucker, this is about the organization itself. My family grew up. Is that true? That's right. That's right. Well, how, how would that work right here exactly? in New Mexico? Right here in New Mexico, you can go to a you can go to a parking lot or go on the internet, buy an assault weapon, an AR-15, and buy a legally available add-on that like a bump stock that allows you to replicate exactly what happened in Las Vegas. The Las Vegas so shooter. So how many? Shoot how many? Wait, no, wait, hold on, no, no, wait. Are you saying you're saying an AR-15 can shoot 150 rounds in 15 seconds? 
So would it have a 150 right. so round we, magazine? What would that, what, hold on, let me ask you, let's be specific, that's your ad. What would that magazine look like, the 150 round magazine? Exactly like the magazines that Las Vegas police officers pulled out of that hotel room. They had 50 and 100 there round were 150 magazines and that weapon round. was capable. Oh, no, and 50 so you and can fire, it is, it is physically possible to fire. It's not, I mean, these are rhetorical questions. You don't know what you're talking about. And I, I know that you were a police talk, officer, you claim to have been. I, yeah. No AR-15 can fire 150 rounds in 15 seconds. That's untrue and if you believe it is true and, then you're not qualified to have a conversation yet, about guns people are laughing at you yet, because you are ignorant we take you don't news. know what you're talking we, about no no we that's take just what, untrue. we take exactly the word of the police officers in las vegas who i trust who ran into that room to save people down below and found the weapons said, that were modified with bump stocks they would oh, allow them so to they do say that. an ar-15 can shoot what do you think would happen to the barrel in 15 seconds if you put 150 round it would what? melt so I guess my point is, if you're going to take on the NRA and be Mr. Tough, I was a cop guy, maybe you should know what you're talking about, but you don't. You're putting something on television that's demonstrably wrong, that's physically impossible, and all of your voters are like, oh, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. He was a cop, but you don't know. So maybe you should apologize for it. I'm not apologizing I'm sorry, for taking doesn't on the work. NRA, I'm, I'm no just one trying else is to, doing it. Oh, okay. I'm, no, I think you should apologize for saying something that's factually untrue. and politeness untrue. have not changed the conversation. We need new Yeah, that's why I'm not being polite. Has, I'm trying to get a, a real conversation going here. Yep. But you don't know what you're talking about, so maybe you shouldn't be in a position to make decisions because you don't understand the issue. Because you just told me with a straight face that an AR-15 no. can fire 150 rounds in 15 seconds. Ooh, surprise, it can't. No. So maybe you should admit that and move on to something you Tucker. understand. Would you do that? Tucker, we're going to go, we're not, this is exactly the type of arguments that don't get us where we need to be. We need new oh, leaders Oh, it's not that's like F the NRA. That's the we kind of moving. argument we need. Oh, we I know. thought politeness didn't work, tough guy. We well, a politician's job is to appeal to voters. Left-leaning voters don't like the NRA. Pat Davis is a Democrat running for Congress in New Mexico. Put two and two together, and Davis has produced a new ad where he expresses his view of the NRA unambiguously. But you decide. The NRA. Their pro-gun policies have resulted in dead children, dead mothers, and dead fathers. I'm Pat Davis, and I approve this message, because if Congress won't change our gun laws, we're changing Congress. Pat Davis joins us tonight from New Mexico. Pat, thanks for coming on. Hi, Tucker. So that that's the ad, F the NRA? Kind of moronic, no? That's, that's it, just 15 seconds. But it got a whole lot of attention to start a new conversation about guns, and I'm grateful for that. But doesn't it degrade you? I mean, you use the F word in an ad. I mean, if you have a position, state it, but F the NRA? I mean, come on. Well, Tucker, I mean, look, being polite, it hasn't made our schools any safer. It hasn't protected police officers like I used to be. Uh, you know, if, it, if a cuss word on TV offends you more than pictures of dead children in Parkland or Newtown, then your priorities are all wrong. I was a cop but when, it's the, not either or. Oh. when I was growing I'm up. I'm asking you about the organization itself. members of itself. the NRA. It's not the NRA than oh. my dad's organization. It is when F their the only NRA. response to a But how many members, but how schools, many of their members, are, hold on, they have millions of members. How many of them have they do, and I've been hearing from them all week. Look, okay. remember, I've been hearing so from let me, them all let me, let me. because the NRA made us their target. We've started a new conversation, and what I've also heard from are parents in but Parkland, the conversation in Virginia, is, in Newtown, who donated to keep the ad on the air because okay. they want people in Congress right. to finally so you're step really up. Doing a public if the NRA service, wants to right. come, if the NRA wants let to let me give you a little more publicity by putting regulations that their members come to the support. Table. You let's just do said it. F the NRA. We're not waiting on them to come to the table. Yeah, we are really trying to have an adult conversation. So here's your new spot. And I just, I want to talk the policy and see what you know about it. So here's your latest 15 second ad. By the time this ad is done, an AR-15 could have fired 150 bullets. That's why we need to ban assault weapons. I'm Pat Davis, running for Congress. And I approve this message because lives are more important than gun company profits. So you just said that in 15 seconds, an AR-15 can fire 150 rounds. Is it? Is it